Hey everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back. Well guys, we're going to do another subscriber request. Today is going to be a short one. We're going to talk about the aim constraint. Okay. Now the aim constraint is pretty cool and you can use it for a lot of things, but just to demonstrate, we're going to set up a, a quick scene. Okay. So what I'm going to set up is a deck cannon off a, uh, you know, battleship or something like that. Okay. So I'll just uh, quickly do that. I'll take a cylinder. I'll hit R to scale it out. I'll push it down and I'll, uh, let's do eight sections there. I'm going to right click go to face, go to modeling menu, edit mesh and extrude. We're going to pull the offset. Why is it not responding? No idea. Actually, that looks pretty cool. We'll do that first. And, you know, the model doesn't really matter that much. Add a mesh extrude. Let's pull in the offset like that. G to repeat, W to pull in. And yeah, we'll do something like that. Okay. And then we'll take a sphere. We'll pull that up. F to zoom in. R to scale out. Let's make that nice and big. And then we're going to hit W. And I'm going to bring that down a bit to about there. And then let's create some sort of cannon. So we'll take a polygon cylinder. We'll pull that out. Let's set that to minus 90. Okay. And then we're going to right click out of object mode. Hit R and pull that out. And what we'll do is we'll go to modeling, mesh, insert edge loop. We'll do one right. Actually, that's multiple. We don't want that. Option box single we'll do one there and we'll do one there and the reason why i'm modeling this right now and i didn't do that up front is so you understand exactly what's what okay that's kind of important so we'll just take these and we'll go to edit mesh and extrude hit r kind of scale that up and pull that back and then we'll take that section G to repeat, R to scale in, push that back, right click object mode, stretch out the whole thing, and we'll just make an opening here, otherwise it doesn't look like a cannon. Edit mesh extrude. Let's do that. G to repeat and W to pull in. All right. Okay, so we're going to right click in our object mode. Now let's scale the whole thing down just a little bit. W to push down. And we'll kind of move that in there. Okay. So that's our entire setup. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and this guy, and we're going to go to mesh and combine. Okay. And we'll just uh, take that lower section of that sphere out for, for wireframe mode, right click face. Let's do that. Actually a bit less. Let's do this. Okay, and delete that. All right, so we're going to right click object mode. We've got this guy, and we're going to hit 4 for wireframe mode, and we're going to hit W to move so we can see where our pivot is at. And we want this pivot to be exactly in the center of our sphere. Okay, so we're going to go in here, and we'll, we'll hold down D on our keyboard, and we'll bring that up there. Okay. 
then we're going to hit five for shaded mode. We're going to set up a quick NURBS control to uh, kind of manipulate the position of our cannon. So we're going to go to create NURBS primitives and we'll take a circle. We'll move that out here, move that up. Let's move it out a little bit. E to rotate that upwards to minus 90. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take all of this and we're going to go up to edit, delete by type, history, and modify the freeze transformation. And we'll take this guy, edit, delete by type, history, and modify and freeze transformation. Okay, and that's kind of important. All right. So we now have this as one object. We got our pivot point in the center of our sphere and we had this as our control. Okay. So we're going to select our control. We're going to shift select this guy. And then we're going to go into our uh, animation menu. We're going to go to constrain to aim option box, edit reset settings and add. Okay. So now if we select this control and we hit W to move it, we can move our cannon. Okay. We can move it sideways. We can move it anywhere we want. Okay. And that's kind of the idea of the aim constraint. That's all there's to it. So have fun with that. Okay. Cool. And what I'll do is I'll just, uh, set this guy back to its original position set everything to zero and there you have it all right thank you guys for watching if you got any questions let me know and see you guys next time